memories, being a little kid, eight, nine years old, crisscross in front of the TV. <laughs> Remember the old glass TVs with a round screen and the static? You could touch it, felt like you were touching God. Remember that shit? <laughs> I'm just sitting crisscross watching Crocodile Hunter on that shit with my jam. I love that, dude. You guys remember Crocodile Hunter? Yes? Yeah? You all remember? That was my favorite, dude. You go to like all the coolest places and find all my favorite animals, you know? Uh, but then you would do this thing like once an episode. You guys remember? Like once every show, the crocodile hunter would try and determine the sex of one of the reptiles. <laughs> uh, do you guys remember that? Yes? And how did he have to do that? Yeah. He had, to put a, he had to put a finger in the reptile, which if I can level with you guys, would really throw eight-year-old me off the thread of the show. Okay? It was really party time up till that happened, you know? I was loving it. He popped in, big smile, head to toe khaki. <laughs> I was fully bought in. He popped in, screamed like, Corky, I'm out here on an island. And eight year old me was just like, Yes, you are, dude. What are you up to on the island? And he'd be like, Oh, I found the Komodo dragon. And eight-year-old me was like, no fucking way you do. That shit happens to be my favorite lizard. <laughs> what are you gonna do now that you found the lizard? You're like, now I'm gonna figure out what gender it is. And I was like, you do not have to do that for me. <laughs> Somebody, please stop! Stranger danger! What do I do? <laughs> I am eight years old. The sex of that lizard is way off my radar, you know? You can even lie and tell me it's a boy like I'm secretly hoping for some reason and leave. You know, I never know. But he would... He ran away. Yeah, he'd flip it over and pop a thumb in it or whatever. <laughs> He'd be like, Gordy, it's a girl. And I was like, you get your fingers out of it, dude. What are you doing? This has to stop, please. I think that's why the animals eventually. I think that's why they might have come back and got them. I think that's what happened. I know. I think word kind of got around the fucking Stingray version of this guy put a hit out of I know. Look, sir, it was devastating. He was my hero, but he was the goddamn Harvey Weinstein of the fish and reptile community. He was out there every day chasing manta rays around. Like, if you want to be in the movies, you gotta let me touch you. Come here. Just a puffer fish going the other direction. Like, I wanted to be in the pictures, but not like this. <laughs> Never like this. All right. All right, that's my time, I think. My name is Eric Anderson.